What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have another Patreon request from Dave Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. So let's go. I'm on landscape page. You use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So okay. So let's start with his eye. So center point of my page is about here. We'll come up over to the right, and we can see like a red eye sticking in from his brow. Right. So. I guess we do the brow first. So we've got like this frowning sort of section in the middle of his head and the brow curves over his eye back this way. Like so. And we may have like, like his temple just going this way a little bit. Like a frown line here. Don't think he has any eyebrows, can't see them anyway. So then under there, right, his eye comes out. So it comes out from here, so it curves around. Into there. Then we can see his tear duct. Like so. And just the tear duct drawn in there. And then his iris. So just like a semicircle or a half circle just coming down from the top of his eye there. And he's got like cat-like sort of eyes there. So he's got sunglasses that come across here, so you can't really make out what the bottom of his eye looks like, but there's like maybe a line there, something there. So then his nose and his other eyebrow. So the other one, so it will go just this way. Can't really see the rest because it's covered by his fingers. We could draw it in though. <laughs> Let's see, we'll just go as far as we can. So we'll go out here, and I imagine it would come around, stick out slightly, and then up that way. Can't see it, but I imagine that's what it looks like. And then his other eye, so you can just see it coming out here, right? So it kind of curves around, very thin, other eye. And then his iris comes out from underneath his eyebrow to there. And then a small sort of snake-like, cat-like eye there as well. So we can see his nose coming down here curved over out like so and curves around the tip of the nose and comes down this way and we can see his nostril we just darken it up a bit and then the back of the nostril curves around here and we might see a little bit more of the bridge of his nose just there. Okay. Okay, so he's got like that top lip sort of line there. And then his mouth is real sort of flat. So we're starting underneath the pupils. That's where your eyes sort of start. So his head is like three quarter pose a little bit. So we're starting still just here and it'll end about here right so we're gonna come across down in the middle back up like there so a real sort of flat mouth right and then we can see like a little bit of his top lip Down like so, and then the bottom lip come across this way. Roughly like that. He could have like a shadow just underneath his lip here for his chin. So the chin itself, real square sort of chin here.
and this we're in three quarter pose so we can see jaw here and cheek on this side right so the jaw comes out there's square jaw change direction up towards the ear and then cheek on this side right so it kind of like bumps in and out for where his lip is right kind of bumps around his mouth area like that and then we go up again this is like sunglasses area so i'm going to just like stop it there right so we got these black sh shades on and they're very sort of slim line sleek looking things so you might be able to see a little bit more of his nostril on this side as well nose just sort of there okay so the center of this comes over his nose like that right and then it'll go just underneath the eye right so it'll go sort of curve across touch the bottom of his eye just across there right he's just peeking below and then we go straight down and then the frame of the glasses comes down around back up and joins this here so the other one so again this way goes underneath his fingers on this side so, but we'll just draw in what we can see down and then in and underneath and we might have to draw over some of this because his fingers cover it okay and then this will go out behind his ear and then we have the lenses and stuff inside right so the ear his earlobe just here sticks out down there and then the glasses come out from behind the ear straight down to that corner like so and then the other like that and then ear lines inside the easiest way is always this letter J and then you can add more detail to it if you'd like. By adding just some more of these kind of lines. But I think that's enough, right? So the lens inside the glasses. Quite slim line, as I said, so starting to say here. And then it'll, you'll just go around again making the frame look quite thin and then it comes around the top like so and then we, it'd be dark inside here and then we just do something similar on this side so we go up and then down so you can color these black or you can go dark gray and add a shine so it's kind of a personal choice whatever you want to do because there could be some red of his eye coming through and stuff like that so i'll leave them white and then you could figure out what way you want to color or copy the way i'm going to color it. i'll probably go sort of dark gray and maybe a shine on it so this is all fingers here right so i'm just going to leave this kind of blank and then we'll do his forehead here right and then we can see his sideburn just coming down behind his ear right so this kind of just v line and then we go up this way we've got like this sort of zigzag kind of area 
for his hairline. And then this goes down towards the front. And then somewhere in the middle, it'll change direction and go around this way. And he does have like strong cheekbone, right? So like a cheekbone coming down there. Maybe a line just on his forehead. All right, so in the rest of his hair, it's all, it's real smooth, slick back sort of thing. Might be a spike every now and then on it. Just coming around his head. All the way around to the back. So this kind of thing. And then you have like textures and stuff. All sort of slip back here. So something like that. So then his neck just comes down from behind his ear. And it goes into his shirt collar, which comes underneath his chin. And you have like a neck muscle there. And then a real big collar. Coming down this way. And around here. Curves around into there back in down that way and this is like leather so it's got like all this extra sort of seams and stitching and all this kind of stuff just all coming around it and then the shoulder sort of bumps itself off this way. Right, and then we have another, like, this is all these fold lines and like a leather kind of seam sort of thing running down here. And another one coming. Because it is leather, some texture could be applied. And the back of his shirt just here. It's like a polo neck actually, so it like comes down the front to there. And he has another piece of clothing here maybe it's a vest or a suit or something there's another collar going that way and then his jacket on this side comes down there and it comes out from behind his hand so we have to draw the hand now yay <laughs> so hands are hard they always have been they always will be so Right, so we got like a finger coming right up next to his eye, right? And whatever you draw over, you'll have to raise or color over, okay? So, the finger here. Up, down. And this is like the top of his finger. Goes like all the way back to there and then down this will go down the back of his hand as well right so you got like a knuckle sort of situation here and then we go down the back of his hand right right and 
and the bottom of this finger goes in behind the next one. Like so. And then this next finger is here. So that's the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and then pinky. And so this goes back this way. You can just see like the other finger going down there. So it all just kind of joins the back of the hand there. And then the little finger comes out around this way. You've got just these forward lines as it goes into the hand. And the thumb just goes this way, the opposable thumb on the underneath and then curves around to the bottom of the hand which just bumps around here and it'll eventually kind of disappear into the wrist and stuff just that way right, so like his wrist will go down into a sleeve down here Which curves around here. Okay, so leather glove, so like there can be some folds and stuff on the knuckles and things. That's the glass is going back there. And then we got like some extra sort of stitching lines just on the side of each of these fingers, right? And then we'll go sort of down the edge of this glove here. So, sleeve, shirt sleeve, and like cuff link sort of thing, right? So sleeve just here, it's got an edge. It looks like his, his polo neck. That would be the polo neck sleeve, I imagine, yeah. Just there. And then his jacket comes out from around, so it's like a real big, leather jacket sleeve big now should it be that big I'm wondering now if it should be more here I might try and fix this sorry now so I've got to try that again so this sleeve so it should go sort of down this way right so pretty round sort of thing and then the other side of it will go oh, difficult. It's like a cuff link sort of thing here. Right. So I got to think about that one. So we we'll go we we'll go with some of more of his jacket sort of here before I figure that out. So jacket this way. And then sort of down here, and it's got like a seam. And like sort of, so this comes out from behind his head, and it'll come down like here somewhere. And 
Okay, and this is like his shoulder and stuff under there so you'll have like some fold lines like that and I think my line is dry enough now so I'm gonna like it so it come, if it goes down that way even more of a, so if that's the edge of it right so I'm gonna guess there right so maybe in a bit more this way Sorry, now I'm kind of figuring this out on the fly because I can't see it in the picture, so I'm kind of making it up, you know. Okay, that's not bad. So it's kind of dark in here. This is like his sleeve. It's just like a leather sort of sleeve and all fold lines and stuff. Just there. Right, okay, I'll just thicken up some edge lines. Right, I think that that's the best I can do. That is, what's his name again? Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. Hope it's helpful, Dave. Thanks for the request. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.